on today's vlog I'm going to be using the shaker dough and this is a really good dye to use because you can actually buy two dyes that complement this so you can either have it as an easter egg or you can have it as a balloon and today I'm going to show you how to create a make with this and I'm going to be using it as a balloon so stay tuned and I'll show you step by step on how you can do this so from the dye set I'm going to be using this piece and I've got some white card and this is going to be your balloon so you're just going to place it down where you'd like your balloon so I'm going to do mine around here and then I'm just going to put my plate on top and then cut and again just going back on myself So you've got this cut, you're just going to pop it to the side and then you're going to use this die piece again and then cut this out with pink card. And from this you'll need, so when you cut it out it cuts out in two parts and you'll need this element. The second part of my make, so you need some patterned paper. I've chosen to use a baby pink floral and I've just got my white card here. And then with some leftover pink card, I just wanna place this down. So you're gonna layer up like so. And then I'm just gonna put all of these elements together. So just using some double-sided tape. Don't worry about the raw edges because you won't see them. And again, just testing whereabouts I'm going to be putting my card. So I'd say around here. I'm just going to press that down. And then I'm going to add some double sided tape onto my white card as well. So all along the edges, making sure that it don't lift up. So I'm just going to apply this on top. Like so, and then just press down. These are some cutouts that I've previously done and it just says dream big little one and I'm just going to layer these up. So for this part I'm going to add my foam tape and I love using this because it just adds some dimension um, onto my design. So you don't need a lot, just put it on the back, peel and then add this onto the glitter card. So make sure it's central. And then on the back of the glitter card, I'm just gonna add some double-sided tape. And I'm just gonna add this at the bottom. I've got these gorgeous gold sequins that I'm going to be using and th the gold really complements the pink so I thought I'd tie it all in and use the gold ones. So what I do is I'll just add the sequins in the centre and I like to mix up and use different ones. Just got some tiny little ones here. Make sure you bunch them all up to the center. Okay, and now you're gonna add the dome. And with the dome, you've got a sticky back area and you're just gonna pull that back. And that'll just slot nicely over the sequins. With the die cut we had earlier, this is just going to go over like so, so it's just going to hide 
the edges and all I do for this is I'll just add some glue around the edges and then apply it onto my make. So just go around, just give it a minute to go tacky. And then that'll just slot in nicely. Within this die set, you also get little elements. So you've got a little balloon string and a bow. And this is going to look really nice. So I have cut these out of gold. Again, this is all going to tie in with the other colours that I've got as well. These are quite intricate, so just be careful with your glue. So mine's quite long. I might actually just snip some of this off. So about there. Perfect. And then finally, I'm just going to add my bow. You could also apply this technique onto a card front, an invite, but today I'm going to put mine inside of a frame. So I've got my white frame and I'm just going to pop that inside. And this is going to look really cute in a little girl's bedroom. And this is quite nice because you can change the colours of it as well. So if you want it for a boy, you could use a baby blue. Or even you can just keep it neutral um, and just have hints of colour in. But I'm pretty pleased with this and this dye works really well with what I've created. As you can see from my step-by-step -step guide, this is a really simple make to do and it's just going to brighten up your interior space. For more inspiration, just visit our website and even go to our Instagram page where we can see all of your makes if you hashtag my making story.